Are you willing to get a ride from a driver's list car? So Waymo is one of the most popular options. Waymo now is sharing about his new research of safety records here in San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Phoenix. So are you ready to get this experience on Waymo? As you can see, a driver's list car doesn't require a human on the steering wheel, but it does require your trust in technology. In the past, traffic troubles involving self-driver's cars had some accidents, even injured, losing trust from their customers. Waymo Cars, operated by Google, has a recent research about their safety of their cars, about 10 millions of real-world driving experience. Waymo divides their driving task in three parts. Sense, solve, and go is the way that they're describing the complex process of accurate information, processing, and moving through the real world safely. Waymo Driver's Latest Cars has collected over 7 million miles on public streets over the past four years, and now they are releasing a new research about their safety record. After analyzing its own data compared to humans, Waymo found its driver's less cars compared to San Francisco drivers three times less likely to be involved in any type of crash or car accident reported to the police, and nine times less likely to be involved in a crash with some type of injury. So that means that humans has been at the wheel of San Francisco will have more accidents including injuries according to Waymo's data releasing in his website. I think that when anything is new to the public, there's always going to be some speculation about the safety, and, yeah. and there is obviously a margin of error in everything that you're going to do. There's, yeah. there's no skirting that, except the margin of error here has more detrimental consequences than anything else. You know, like, if your self-driving car stops, and like, I just saw the video the other day, it just stopped in the middle of a tunnel, very slowly at that, and all these cars just piled up behind it and turned up like flipped over so you know it, there's definitely a, a sense of you know this machinery having too great an impact on our lives but at the same time like how, how much do we need to stretch convenience how much does that need to go for like how far does that need to go it's important to mention that Waymo cars don't drive on highways or several weathers like heavy rains there are still some limitations because Waymo operates in a limited range in San Francisco area, which means don't operate in all the places that people do. Plus, in order to request a ride, you have to join and be on hold on a wait list in order to use Waymo services, unless you have a special code. Um, I've seen a Waymo car and did a little bit of research on like Waymo cars. It has featured with the lighter sensor, which is uh, object detection sensor. It basically like the people who have iPhone has like lighter, sen lighter sensor. It detects a death map, like how far the object is. So using that sensor to detect nearby object, for example, car or person, the pedestrian is going in front of them. It's very long term process as a development of Waymo car. So I think along the way it will be much better with uh, third party uh, support such as like AI. One of the companies very great for AI is the Google because they have a so much of so much so many open source like resource you can everyone can access to. I think Waymo will uh, get take advantage of those. Reporting for Labos News, Nelopolis. <laughs>